Hey there, we're the Taylors on the go. And we just got back from our first Norwegian cruise aboard the Norwegian Encore. Beautiful ship. And we wanted to share with you five things we would have changed about our cruise and two tips for you at the end. All right, do you wanna get started? What is the first thing you would have changed on our cruise? I would have bought the Vibe Beach Pass. It is expensive because it's $249 on this ship. Why would you have person. bought the Vibe Beach Pass? Because we had a hard time, even on non-sea days, finding seating at either the main pool deck area, on the waterfront area, just anywhere we went, it was lots of people. And we talked to a few people that had the Vibe Pass and they said they had no problem finding chairs or hot tub space. Yeah, so he's being really generous too because with it being our first Norwegian cruise, when he says it was the pool deck was crowded, it was crazy crowded. Like people moved chairs everywhere, every which way. Um, it was it was crazy. We in our whole seven days we didn't get a spot on the pool deck once. So unless you're waking up early and yeah. heading out there. And just going to like, you know, covet your seats the whole day. Yeah, you might as well forget it. Okay, we'll move on. Number two. <laughs> what else would you have changed about your cruise, Chad? Um, I would have done more breakfasts or... Breakfasts, is breakfasts that a word? Or lunches in the uh, main dining areas. Right, mainly because the buffet area, the food was fine. I didn't have a problem with no. the food. It was just that the seating was hard. Um, if of course, if you went at busy times, it was it was hard to find a spot. So you're walking around for a little bit. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I thought I found the spot one day, and I kind of got yelled at by somebody because I took her table by accident. So um, yeah, that's. I mean, I thought the food was fine. It was just the seating. No, oh, the food was fine. Yeah, I enjoyed so, it. But we would try out the main dining for breakfast and lunch. So, number three, <laughs> what would you do different? Number three. I would have checked the daily um, navigator or on the app and found out what time the slides are actually open because they are not open all the time. And I seem to always just miss one or the other um, we'd see that they're open, run, jump back in my bathing suit, run up there to go get in there. Yeah, there was one time we were sitting there by the by the pool or walking by the pool and uh, there was like no line for the drop slide. And I was like, oh my gosh, you need to hurry up and go get on there. There's no wait. And as soon as he gets over there, the guy was like, nope, it's closed, sorry. Yeah. So, and apparently the slides are not open together. So there were two no. slides on the Norwegian Encore and they were not open at the same time. So if one was open, the other one wasn't, so. But in their fairness to them, they did post the times. In yeah, the, we just didn't know that either. Uh, so that on us, of course. Okay, let's move on. The fourth thing you would have changed. I would have uh, done the clamshell on Grace Stirrup Key. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna go to Grace Stirrup Key. Okay, so Grace Stirrup Key is their private island and um, it's beautiful. It's not a whole lot to do, which we like on a private island, but there's not a whole lot of shade either. Mm -hmm. So we're used to other private islands where there's more shade and this one there's not. So we definitely would have invested in the clamshell. Well, and the good thing is that there are a bunch of them in different spaces. Yeah. So which you can go and, and rent them and sit in them and then they're closely located to what I felt was the food or yeah I uh, don't think they're very expensive I can't mm -hmm. remember I would say under $50 it was $49 think. Yeah. so that's not bad but with the clamshell if like one side of the island which is the furthest away from where you tender in um, where the clamshells are and by I say far it's not that far to walk right um, they had what I thought was the best food for sure. Okay, so do you want to touch on that? It would give you a little bonus what we would change on there as far as Great Star of K and the food? Yeah, I wouldn't stay away from the main area where the, the food buffet. 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 It was, n I didn't enjoy it. It was very packed. When you say you didn't enjoy it, we didn't eat there. 
I ate the corn. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. They, we walked it. through the buffet and, and nothing looked appetizing. And we're not picky eaters. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're fine with hamburgers, hot dogs, and things like that. But it, the food just didn't look good for us. So I just decided there are other places to eat on, on the little island. Yeah. There's a couple food trucks. Um, we have a video, just a quick walk around, and you'll see there's a couple places. No. And we did find a chicken sandwich at one of them, which was good. Um, but uh, they had burgers on in that food truck. So yeah, when you enter from the tender port, if you go right away from the main dining buffet right. area, there was a taco stand, right, which was very popular. Yeah. The line was long, yeah, we just but it was very go. good. And if you go left past the lighthouse, the food truck is over there, right, and. It was really good. That chicken sandwich I had was very good, and they had burgers, and the burgers looked really nice. Yeah, and and so we that was the thing. We decided not to just eat much on the island after we looked at the buffet. We just decided to kind of head back toward the ship because of the shade and things like that. We had enough of the island. We just decided to go back. So, right? Yes. Okay. Are we on to number five? Number five. Number five. What else would you have changed on our cruise? The tender time. Right, and of course that depends on your cruise if you even have a port that you'll tender at. Um, but for us, we did, and um, this will have another little additional tip on there too. But um, you can reserve your tender time mm -hmm. on the screens um, on the ship. And we got on there and reserved our tender time for, I think I picked number three because I had no idea what time the tender started. Reserve your time. Yeah, okay. So, right. We, we picked number three. We had no idea what time. Mm -hmm. It didn't tell you what time the tender started. It didn't tell you how far they were going to be uh, like spread out. So, if I picked one, how far behind was three? We had no idea. Or how many tenders were they even doing for the day? So I picked number three, not knowing, and I think we even asked other people and nobody knew the time. They said they'd let mm -hmm. you know in the morning. So we got up and I think it was really early. I mean, I think they called tender time three at like 7.30 in the morning. Yeah. No, <laughs> it was too mm -hmm. early for us. I wouldn't, and, and not only that, but at 7.30 in the morning, they were they were pretty much announcing anybody that wanted to get off and, and tender and go and that, to come on. They, it didn't matter. There was no need to do a tender reservation at all. That's the key. At the time when we went, um, there they weren't really holding anybody because nobody checked to see if we had a time no. for that tender no. or what have you. And so, it was a packed ship, by the way. I mean, it was sold out. Oh, yeah. it, was, it, it was not like, oh, it wasn't a lot of people. It was a sold out ship. Absolutely. But there was no reason to do a, a tender time. Mm -hmm. I mean, even, I think we probably got off the ship, I don't know, maybe around nine. Because we decided to have breakfast and everything. Yeah. Um, and they were still saying, anybody wants to come, come. They didn't check anything. So the whole tender time thing was kind of useless. Not needed, right? I thought it wasn't. Yeah. So, um but that kind of goes into our tip that we wanted to talk about. Definitely. Go ahead and explain. Tip number one. Um, so one of the things we were told, and we guys, I guess I looked up and did some research before our cruise for Norwegian was to um, make sure as soon as you get on the ship, you go and reserve your times for the shows and the um, comedy and the tender and all those kind of things. And they said you were supposed to go to a certain deck and I think they were holding it in one of the clubs um, where you were supposed to go and do yeah. it. So as soon as we got on the ship, I'm like, we gotta go, we gotta hurry up or we're not gonna get a show. And then come to find out, you don't have to wait in that line at the club on deck six or whatever it was. Yeah. You can just go to pretty much any screen on any deck and there were there were screens everywhere. Um, they were huge. I mean, they were they were like big televisions turned. Yeah, sideways. right next to all the um, elevators. Yep. And you can just reserve everything. We reserved go karts. We reserved our mm -hmm. show for Choir of Men. We reserved comedy shows. We reserved everything on that screen. No waiting whatsoever. So, I saw people uh, reserving excursions for other days. Yeah. So there's no reason yeah. to run and jump in the line to do all that when you can do it any screen. But these screens also you use throughout your entire voyage. Yeah, I think and we reserved dinner one night. We did, yeah. and then you can go and touch it and it will tell you 
you know, where you're at, where it's at, and how to get there. Right. If you're looking for a bar, you're looking for a yeah. theater. Or eating. So the screens were great, yeah. very useful. Use the screens yeah. for all your reservations. Um, if you don't have your phone with you and you want to know what's going on, the screens will tell you uh, what time shows are and things like that. So can I add another tip? Oh, I got tip number two. Okay. Well, I'm just going to add another tip anyway. I'm going to have one and a half. One and a one half. One and a half. The comedy on Norwegian sucks. <laughs> don't do it. Well, hold on. If you go and see the comedy, you only need to see it once because right. no matter how many times that you go for it. That's something I really love. Yeah. And um, so we signed up for it the first night and I was like, okay, there's a family show, an adult show, pretty much the same show. Mm -hmm. And then on subsequent nights, they hold more shows. And I was excited because I wanted to watch comedy every night. And I found out that it's pretty much the same set with just a few different jokes. And they weren't funny. Well, then fine. Tip one and three quarters. <laughs> go see Choir of Men. Oh if my you're, gosh, yes. Uh, whatever ship it's on, yeah. go see it. And yeah. if you're a beer drinker, show up 10 to 15 minutes early. Yeah. They will invite you on stage. They yeah. will serve you beer. Yeah. And That was probably is, the best show no, I've ever seen. I, I, I wish I would have seen it on Broadway. I didn't think it was going to be that good. Fantastic. And it was yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Tip number two. two. Okay, <laughs> much like the slides, check your daily, Na I guess, navigator I they or whatever it. they call it. Okay, if you like walking around the ship for exercise, there are times that you can do it and there are times you can't. So on our cruise- I know that you sounds weird because on other ships we run, and we'll, we'll have another video comparing the three different cruise lines we've been on and what we like and what we don't, yeah. but this was really weird to us. That's okay. why it's a tip. So only up to nine o'clock in the morning can you walk around the track and then it does not start back up until after five. And the reason why is there's not a lot of deck space. Yeah. So they put chairs over the walking track. And so, yeah, so it goes back to the whole pool deck thing yes. and having not a spot on your pool deck. Yeah, if you go up to whatever level the pool's on, you go up the next level, there's always chairs. There were 16 as the, well, the Lido. I think yeah. after, like he said, 9 a.m., they added way more chairs. Like, they did. I mean, the walking between the two lounge chairs on that deck was just enough Very to tiny. walk through. Yeah. Uh, and not even that, I mean, if you had a bag or something, there was a good chance you were hitting somebody on the lounge chair with your mm -hmm. bag that you're toting yeah. or your towel. It was so tight up there. It was horrible. So between nine and five, there is a wonderful workout. You can go run <laughs> on treadmills, on but you're path. not on the walking trail. No. no, not at all. Now, don't get us wrong. We had an amazing time on this. Oh, absolutely. And we would probably do this ship again, no. but there are things we would change and do differently. Or absolutely. I'd probably explore a different Norwegian ship for other reasons, but mm -hmm. we can go in that in our other video that we're going to compare the cruise line. So. Yep. Hope you found this helpful. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and we'll try to answer them. Um, thanks for watching.